M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. A question I get asked often is, what's the best firmware to use on my Quashang UVK5 K6 type radio? It's a really hard question. I'm gonna show you a few of the different choices you have here, but really try them out. But the number one thing I would say is if you, if you look here at the IJV, there's a program called K5 Programming. And scrolling up, it says here, read fully prom read calibration before you load any firmware onto your k5 k6 take a copy of this take a copy of your eprom and your calibration because you're going to need to keep that because once you've added some other firmware to your radio and you want to change back to the original firmware you're not going to be able to do this properly without that backup it will go in, you'll be able to load the original firmware, but the radio's parameters will be different. Uh, so that's the number one thing is do that. And that comes with the IJV software that you're seeing here. And there are two versions of the IJV software. So now because this, these updates have been going on for a few years now, there are different boards within the radio. So you have to look for that as well. So it's getting more complicated now. That's why I feel like there are many people now that are just keeping them as they are because it just gets too complicated. But don't get me wrong, playing around and trying out different firmware is excellent. This is the Exuma firmware, uh, which is very popular, has the built-in spectrum, allows you to receive frequencies that you'd never receive with the original version. You've got the UV mod. This one allows you to load the firmware just using a browser, which means you can use your Windows Mac uh, to load the firmware. Um, it doesn't have to be a window, uh, sorry, Windows Mac. Uh, <laughs> an Apple iMac computer. I'm, I'm a Windows person, you can tell that. So then you've got this one here, which I've never tried, and I'm gonna make a video on this, because I've never tried this one here, called One of Eleven. Um, I'm not sure, does there need to be a hardware modification for that? I'll have to have a look. But that is definitely one that I've never ever used, one of 11, okay? So I'm gonna put all, I'm gonna put all these links in the description. I have used this one, which is the KD8CEC software, and this, I mean, there's several, several different things you can do with this, but one of them is you can turn it into an APRS, APRS radio, look at this, okay? and then just scrolling through and then some people they've got this this firmware and they've actually made their own version of the firmware whether it's kda exuma you know ijv so i'll put all the links in you let me know what your experience is uh, the most famous one i do feel like it's probably the exuma because it was it was quite widely talked about when it first came out. Thanks for watching my channel. I hope this helps you. I'm just even more confused now. Bye for now. All the best.